I honestly don't think so. And of course we go for the thing. And oh boy, forest. I think we have a lot of forest. See, it looks better. Oh man. Hello everyone, it's Love here, and today we are trying the deck that was menacing us for a few days, the Reclamation Analyst deck, and I'll be honest guys, it's more fun than you think. I think you will enjoy quite a lot of video, and while I have your attention, I want to say a huge, huge thank you, because I've been watching the, you know, the CGB video when he was uh, taking uh, one of the mono black decks from Ash Leasley, and yeah, like, I've seen so many comments of you guys just saying, oh, take Sloth's deck and all this stuff and it was so nice to you know just read so many nice words you know about the channel and yeah i just wanted to say a huge thank you and i read those comments all right you guys are are truly awesome so thank you for that and yeah about the deck i mean the best way is just to watch it in action all right and i will be learning as as you are watching so we will learn it together all right have fun and one more time thank you for all the kind words i am and yeah cgb you can react to everything like bro come on all right have fun guys all right we're going first and i mean we have a lot of lands that love going into graveyard and uh, we definitely need green so let's take this one so we get the forest I'm not sure if we play Analyst, we'll see. But I know I need green mana right now. Dreadful Fenrir. Alright, you, you got some props for a name. And you know that's a mono black player, because that's a cool name. So what do we go for? I need to play three of them in a row. So this one go... Man, it's not <laughs> easy to hit all of them. Uh, let's go like this. We need every turn a graveyard, uh, a land in the graveyard. And uh, we'll try to get all the colors of mana from this. So, and do I play planes? I have no idea. I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. They keep the removal, right? Because they left the mana, they didn't pump the sleeper for the damage. Planes. Let's check if we have planes in this deck. Do I? Maybe, who knows? I mean, we'll like in quite a lot. Yeah, I knew we have one. It's great. <laughs> so, uh, I could go with this and then he kills it. Uh, is that a great idea? Probably not. And Terror Tide fully sweeps the board, probably. Uh, so, Sleeper is basically... You know, kind of not a bad card, but it's it, it's not very strong when you pump uh, all the mana into it, unless you start doing cards. So the first three mana is kind of wasted in a way. Sure, you get extra stats, but you, that's not the real value. Uh, so you need six mana total. If you can hit it before they get to six mana, you, that's a really good deal. All right, so this is not the most. What do we do here? Yeah, with so many Splendid Reclamation, I think we need to start as soon as possible. You know, not the craziest value ever, but it's already getting there. And that means... Let's go double green, because we have quite a lot of green. Oh no, I need Swamp. I messed up, right? I messed up. Alright, we'll make it work. Don't you worry. You can see how much we can live game with this. I only have two. Right, because of the trespasser. All oh, right, it hit me when I was talking. <laughs> Basically, it hurts twice because we also have the teratite that really depends on it. But we have six mana for the next turn, so that's that's okay. It will be hard to block. A trespasser is doing insane work. Like by now, it hit like three lands on our side. All right, so they can go up to 3-3. Three, three. That's the highest. If I go like this, I get one extra. Not very good. I need to cycle a few cards. And I don't really want to lose this, to be absolutely honest. And I don't get untapped blank la black land. I think we kind of do this and give them the target for go for the throw. It's not perfect, they will kill it 
uh, but I think it's still okay. And this gets a swamp, so we can prepare for the next turn, play Analyst potentially, and you know, go from there. Also, it's daytime, uh, so they don't exile as many cards as they really want. I mean, this can get me next draw, so I think it's a little bit better. So this one is protected from the exile effect. They won't be able to exile everything. I mean, listen, <laughs> listen, it's not the worst. I mean, we are getting somewhere, huh? Uh, as you can see, we can get terror tide to pretty nice numbers, but we need, you know, just a moment to just set up everything. And right now, if they spend the whole turn drawing one card, I think I'm fully, fully fine with it. Sure, that's actually a good case. I wonder why the, they did it. It suggests they just drew go for the throat because it was better to cast it at that step. And I mean, you can pump right now if you really want. And see if they go for the tortoise. All right, Atraxa, some extra damage, but that means more lands. All right. Man, I mean, that's pretty good, huh? So I can fully clear the board. Man, this is a good turn. This is a really good turn. So, let's start. We play this first. Man, this deck is kinda exciting to play, I'll be honest. Let's go for black mana, because we need quite a lot of it. Then we go Reclamation. I mean, let's let's play the, the Terror Tide first. Just because I might get some lands with like survival. I don't know, I don't want to check the graveyard. We don't need to. And I mean, let's get some value. It's not as good, like imagine if we had two extra lands every single time we do it. I mean, that wouldn't change much because we have no basics. But that's a lot of lands, huh? That's quite a lot of lands. Arena, all right. Interesting. So let's see. Definitely in the graveyard. Then we play Analyst, and we can still play for the next turn. Another Atraxa. Is that good? It feels like I probably want this Atraxa in like my hand to win the game. And I'm not scared. You are scared. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, we have Memorador, so we can you know get a lot of answers this way. But it's a weird deck. I'll tell you. It's a super weird deck. Sure. We got the thing. And I mean, that's it, right? So let's make sure that we get nice survival. That's a lot of lands, man. And let's learn. So first we shuffle in case we have some basics. Okay, what do we want? Slogurk, probably. Yeah, that makes kind of sense. And Memoradorush. So let's respectfully decline, and we still have one basic here. Uh, nah, nah, -uh. <laughs> definitely not the card. Oh, oh, I think I get it now. Oh, I'm a smart cookie. Now I know how my deck works. Yeah, that's that Rax I was talking about. All right, I think that helps. <laughs> I think it helps. Oh boy, oh boy. Listen, I think we're in a decent spot right now. Uh, Jace Takenuma, because Takenuma is amazing. I mean, it's Analyst? No. Kinda Nessa, because if we resolve twice, we get uh, Elemental, so Slogark. I think that's what you do. Okay, man, that's actually super cool so far. And yeah, let's go. Generally, you probably want to, you know, play Nessa and then get all the lands, but, you know, we'll do it the opposite way and see if it works. Atraxa will die, probably, so we will take a 10 step and do it all over again. Sure. We have enough mana. Because I think we have two Atraxas in the, in the graveyard. Alright, he will get a lot of answers. He has the arena. And I mean, we take this. I'm not sh super sure if we go Atraxa or Memora de Rouge to be out. I wanna see, man, this is just a control player playing Kenna deck. I prefer to have Memory de Rouge. And you know what? I'm kinda happy with the results. I'm kinda happy with the results. I 
And let's see Ther's reaction. He can remove one of the creatures, but he wants more than all. Oh, I think I need to play this, right? We have some man. Look at the mana. This feels like completely cheating. This guy is on four lands. Okay, that's that's good. So he he has only one removal in this in this turn, and I actually wanted Slogurk more than uh, than her. I mean, is that good? It feels good, and I think we need to do it now, right? Man, I'm also live gaming still. Uh, return all lands. Why do I copy something? What? Oh, is it echoing deeps? All right. As a copy of land. What land do we want? I have zero idea, man. I will just choose this one, so... So it does something. Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm learning the deck as I go, right? <laughs> All right, so we'll get a lot, a lot. So we ha we don't have any basics, I believe, at this point. But we'll get all the slogger count counters, and it makes slogger kind of hard to kill. You know, that's what I learned. And we can always play a track if we want. A lot of clicking, that's for sure. But I'm getting good at it. I just don't want to click one more time. And we can use Takenuma and Memory Dush. Sure, your go. Man, I'm live gaining with those lands more than he deals. <laughs> That's so crazy. And I wonder what he will do. I think he wants to keep removal every single turn as long as he can keep it up. Because with Arena you can kinda get an That's triple go man, he has one go for the throat in the rest of the deck. All right, we might get win easier than I expected then. We have 23 cards, he has 41. This is also a Planeswalker, right? Sure. Don't forget we cannot block, so he can still keep attacking and life gaining. However, we can pump Slogor quite heavily as well. So it won't be nine damage, it can be way more than this. It is possible they still caught one of the removal spells and that means that when we pump it and try to attack then they will kill it and then we get it back, you know. Alright, so I think this and I mean Terror Tide is not bad. Right? Yeah, I think with Analyst we are fine. Listen. Listen. <laughs> I like playing my lands. Oh, this is the deck for me. Just keep playing plants and getting all the mana. All the mana. This is quite a lot, so minus 14 kills Slogurk. And that's not fully perfect. We can make it bigger, but then what happens? Up to 3 target lands when it leaves. I honestly think we do it like this, because our opponent is a little bit pressured, and I really think he has a removal. Or maybe not. Okay, with Memory Delush I don't need to sweat it, like I can double play Memory Delush this turn. See? They, they have something. Oh, it's a scam. Alright. Sure. So. I mean, how does this work? They get 7 damage and... No, yeah, they 7 damage and they lifelink 3, so it's still worth to attack. I will clear the board because it makes things easier for me. Alright, you got it. It's great. It's mighty. And you know what? Slogork is like, I'm out of here. And so what do we want? Uh, to hand? Oh my man, I'm tr I'm getting the deck. I think I starting to understand it. <laughs> all right, all right. So terror tide seems this slogurk three three. So cut down one to do it. Analyst meaning three cards is a little bit scary to be honest. So we need to be careful about this, especially that Takenuma uh, gets even bigger meal, you know? 
All right, you got it. We do it, so the slog work is pretty good. Uh, let's get whatever. I don't know. Let's get this one. Just so it goes to the graveyard again, because I think we have enough mana. And I want those three counters on Slowburg, so I can keep dodging his uh, removal. Man, this deck is something else, <laughs> I'll tell you. But I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, it would be so much easier. If they didn't have this arena, they would be out of the game a long time ago. But drawing two cards a turn is a little bit, you know, more. Basically more. An 8-8. We can use Takanuma for this, so I'm just playing Jace and I, I will start to mute him. Uh, but we still force him for 15. We, we still have time. We'll just start slowly. Here's the underdog. As expected, but super expensive and they really don't want to use it. And he can do it a little bit more, but in like three turns we can mill everything. So when they kill us, or when they kill the Jace, when I'm at 18 just by those lands that gain one life. <laughs> this is kinda crazy. And we can get more and more lands, so we'll never end it. Right, so that seems to be a full rope from our opponent. I'm not super surprised. Uh, I think they will fall off very quickly. With Jace, we know that we can get him back multiple times in one game. So, you know, um, I I think I should have done it faster. Uh, like, you play the Jace, you minus five, you attack a Numa, you play the Jace, you minus five, you attack a Numa. You get the idea. So we can mill way more than I did, I guess. Alright, so we are on the draw, which isn't perfect, but we have Anna. Man, it's kinda impressive that this deck always, always has the Analyst, <laughs> somehow. I think we start with the Surveillance, because I probably want to make sure... Oh man, I kinda need it, right? So I'm trying to put some lands into Graveyard to Surveil, but you know, this, this card is so good against Mono Black. Like, it, it destroys the Trespasser so hard. And I mean, we can... Okay, so... Okay, I think I know. We probably go with this. This one is tapped, right? Yeah. Alright. I want the Analyst to survive. This is extremely important card. And I'm preparing for Trespasser. I hope I get it. Alright? <laughs> if I don't... I mean, I'll just kill the, the Underdog. It's still okay. Creature, huh? All right, all right. This is good enough target. Uh, so, if he had trespasser, he would still play the pre preacher. I think. I might regret it, but let's try. I think a lot of people would play the trespasser first. So you know, that's where I'm going with. And now we can go with the storefront. No, we want some some lands into. Oh man. Listen, this is this is really good. All right, and I don't think I'm playing the deck optimally, but I think it's it's a solid line of play. All right, I think it's good enough. Four card, man. It's so fun that you basically like play, you know, your own small game here. <laughs> like, if anything, I would prefer my opponent to just not interrupt my fun right now, and you know, he can just play another game and I will be here solving the puzzle of this deck, <laughs> basically. Uh, we definitely want to kill the underdog. That means they cannot Geek's Command and underdog on the same turn. So I mean we go with this, right? Then we play two lands and we do what? Analyst? No, we, we just get Slogurk, right? I think that's how it works. Here's the landfall. Uh, green whatever. I don't think the mana will matter, right? Alright, we need to be smart about colors. That's part I'm not very good at. I think double black is is nice. We could also go attract some mana. Let's go attract some mana. I think it's a little bit more responsible. And let's go blue. Okay, you know what? With this draw, I will take it because I still have another one. Oh, some nice lands into Graver. That's that's good. That's nice. So we already have three. 
and he needs to so the point is that if i play analyst right now sure he can kill it probably most likely it will cost two mana so it really breaks their turn but then nessa survives right this is the best case for them unfortunately but maybe then nessa survives huh no way he, he just has it all all right i guess he's good at magic uh, but I still think it was a worthy attempt, right? The priority comes from the Foundry. He can tap it to activate it, and I think he forgot about his cards. All right. All right. Interesting. Pretty interesting. I think we go with this. We could go Jace. So do we go Jace and just mill ourselves like crazy? I mean, it kind of feels like a like a play, right? I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, guys. But I will do it because it's pretty epic. <laughs> and I mean, that's one of the reasons we play so many cards, right? I'll take note Bro, family. listen. I have no idea if that's how you're, you're supposed to go. But when I play this Analyst, I think I, my value will be decent, you know? So I need to play tap on this turn. Uh, your graveyard. And we want probably something like it. I want something that gives black mana. No. Yes, that's the black mana. I should generally check if I have those basics, but I'll just go with it. Because then we have six mana on the next turn and that means analyst and we probably get all the basics from the deck. Okay, we still have some. Good. So we say your go. And the beauty of this deck is that if your opponent just thinks, well, I will just burst him. He, he is no life gain in this deck. Man, you have so much life gain from those lands. You can life gain like between four and eight a turn. Well, that's uh, a little bit unfortunate. They should definitely hit the Analyst and that will give them extra turn. So they should play Tenacious Thunderdog, get rid of the Analyst and get some extra cards before we recover and it hits in the perfectly wrong spot for us because we cannot go with memory the rules then we also don't really want to terror tide i think that's a huge mistake and i love it they might get two cards or even three so the game will go uh, but i think oh man really that means he cannot under the right unless he draws two lands i'm not sure if he played something I would play differently, but you know what? That's me. I might be wrong. Uh, do you sacrifice? So sacrifice is part of the cost. That means he cannot really do anything about it. Man, I didn't check the mana. Man, that was so close. If that wasn't the forest, I would with... Oh, never mind. Scrap that. I, I, everything was calculated and man, I had this game from the start. So, geeks, absolutely. He can use the Foundry or the Underdog, so keeping Canalis is pretty cool. Sure. So he will draw two cards in total. Is that enough to beat our might? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. And of course we go for the thing. And oh boy! Our lands will be nice. Uh, I can copy the Mirex if I want. I honestly think we just want to keep doing our stuff. Let's go for those lands, because I've seen that I don't have too many forests. And the other one... Forest. I think we have a lot of forests. See? It looks better. Oh man, it's it's legendary! So I always get them in the grid. Alright, man. It took me a long while, but I'm slowly starting to figure out what the deck does. The deck, you know, that I'm playing. <laughs> and I, I, I will say it, it's so many decisions. Like, this is the part of the deck I'm really enjoying. Like, you can do so much stuff here. And the live game is pretty incredible. And with Memory of the Rouge, you can just use Cardo from your graveyard, basically. Look at the live game. Man, we are back to 20. The problem is him getting cards, but we have Jace, right? So I don't think that's something we cannot beat. And he cannot interact with the stack because he doesn't have the correct colors in his deck. So I mean, let's go here and see what we can fish. All right. Takenuma gets back a lot of stuff, right? I think it's very good. 
and we probably want another source of value. It could be Slogurk as well, but we cannot get three counters this turn. Man, I'm a control mage, all right? I will always take the, the thing. And we cannot do on this turn what we want. So let's see if we can hit something else, like Reclamation. Here we go. And Otawara is pretty nice, huh? Otawara is really nice. It's uncounterable. Still, I think we go with Reclamation on this turn. I should play this one. But I think we we have all the basics, right? I should check the deck, basically. So I can live gain a lot right now. Do we want to? Or are we just Otawara? You know what? I don't think we need to. We're at 20. And we can Aether Otawara Geeks to prevent all the la or all the cardo he's getting. And then we can main phase a Takenuma into a Trax or something like that. Sure. Enjoy, my friend, because my cards are lands. And you cannot get those, huh? You can get only one of them. And the one that matters the least right now. Alright, that was pretty satisfying. Uh, so we can also... Okay. You target, don't you? Up to one target card. Okay. Do they know how Otawara will end here? Because we can uh, end step Takenuma, get back the target they will try to hit, unless they go for memory rush, but in that case I don't think it matters, right? I, I have everything I need in the you know in the rest of the graveyard. So let's see if that's a Traxxar or Memorodush. I'm not sure what the line of play they think it will work. And that was not cor correct the sentence, but you get the idea. And I I don't think this line of play may play makes any sense. Sure. All right. I mean, I just get the Terrorite if I want, right? And I kill everything except the Tenacious Thunderdog. Then they paid 4 mana, they have 3 or 4 mana, probably 4, and they can play one shorted or something. Did they play a land? That's actually huge. Well, kinda. I will risk it. So I'm choosing the risky version right now. Because I need to do it, and I might as well prevent one of the cards, right? One card is not as much. It can be a land. I think he didn't play a land, so he can try to steal it again. So that was a little bit risky play. And uh, we go with Terror Tide first. Man, that was one of the biggest ones I have ever cast. If I go Takenuma, I still can play a Traxa, right? 22. I think, like, they cannot mill us, right? I think they cannot mill us, so we would go a Traxa, play her on the same turn, and then got all the pieces so we can start recurring Jace and just mill them in one or two turns. All right, we did it. All right, guys, and now in the outro we'll make analysis that you will say, wow, it's splendid, after you watch it. I had to. I had to. It, th there was no choice. All right, what about the deck? Uh, to be honest, I had way more fun with this than I expected. The amount of interactions and like decisions you can make with this deck is actually really enjoyable. However, I'm not sure how good it is in best of one, honestly. Like it feels that you are getting probably overrun with aggro. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, especially that there are a lot of mythic rares, all this stuff. Man, even this is rare? Oh my God. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm seeing it quite a lot in best of three environments, so uh, it seems to be a solid best of three tournament deck for some reason. And to be absolutely honest, it has insane power. I definitely didn't play the deck, you know, the best you can. Uh, I'm still, you know, while playing, I learned all, all the interactions. It seems that Takenuma and Jace is your, like, big win con, because you can just keep chaining those. And with Slogurk, uh, you can get basically every amount of lands into your hand. And that's super important, because, uh, like, Splendid Reclamation gets land into the battlefield, which means that all the other Takenumas will die, but you still have one. Uh, however, with Slogurk, you can actually use it to cast another stuff. It seems that you still need to be aware of milling yourself, because most of your cards and win cons mill yourself in some way. So, uh, 
know, that's something I was really, you know, kind of scared, to be honest. But I think with playing so many Jaces each turn, like what, you need 8 mana per Jace, right, in a way. So I think you can just meet your opponent super hard. With this deck, you have so, so much, uh, you know, potential to make all the plays and you can keep chaining them so they really don't end uh, memory delusion is like the glue that gets everything together uh, because normally you kind of need to draw a value spell to keep your chain going right but with this deck you can just mill it <laughs> and it's even better and man there are not many decks that have so insane amounts of mana uh, like this deck that you can flashback memory delusion and it's just the start of your turn and that feels absolutely amazing it's so hard to just find a full turn when your opponent whiffs so we can spend all the mana on memory delusion to set up the win uh, here it's just not a problem and that's something that i think you will also enjoy a lot yeah there are so many decisions with this deck so i think that you can absolutely perfect it over time and do much better than i did so yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, man, Nyssa is like four mythics. So this deck is really expensive. So be careful. If you are playing only best of one, I honestly don't think it's, it's you know, the deck that can super perform on laddering. But to be fair, like you have Path of Pairs, you have Terratides and, you know, all this stuff. So, I mean, you can, but it's probably like you need a good draw against, you know, classic draw of aggro. I think that's the case. All right, guys, I think that's enough for today. Enough of slow rambling and just want to say a huge thank you again for, you know, just saying such nice things about the, the channel, even on the other channel's comments. So. That was great. Thank you for that. And be sure to check the video. Uh, I think it was great. And the mono black that uh, Ash Lizzle showcase was great. And now it's CGB. So be sure to check the video. And yeah, man, me recommending CGB like you match. <laughs> oh my God, what I am doing even. All right, have fun guys and see you tomorrow.